A job of a pastor is to make correct, correct the congregation from living an ungodly life. That's why they call them figuratively shepherds, to guide and correct that sheep. That sheep get out of line, that pastor's supposed to go out there, send, it, send the dog, get out there. Like I said, down the modern ones, you send the dogs out there. But go out there and get that sheep back in line. That's what a pastor do in love, out of compassion. Not trying to take advantage of you or, 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 or beguile you, which is totally deceive you, or to um, manipulate you. And there's a lot of manipulation going on, brothers and sisters. You read it right here, and they're breaking the chain of, of bondage of the tradition of the church. And I'm talking about those false traditions that's not even about God. It's scriptures that support the statement that I believe in, and I'm telling, and I'm sharing it with you right now. You, I mean, it's a lot about this shared, but the rest you got to read the book. The rest you got to read the book. This is a powerful book that's going to change the way you look at ministry. It's going to change the way you look at your pastor. You're going to, you're going to look at your pastor a little bit more carefully. You're going to listen when you when he reads those scriptures on the pulpit. You make sure you read right behind him. Read the top, the first verse. Then the verse after that verse he read, that verse and the verse after, so you have an understanding. Is this he? That's in context. He's in context. Of what he's talking about? He's being. He's delivering a product. He's getting ready to deliver a message to you that will help change your life and to help keep you in a in calm waters in a rapid deplorable world. But anyway, guys, I love you. I just want to share. I went over our time again, but this is so important. We break, we're going to break these chains of bondage. You know, I had written this. God blessed me to inspire me to write this book um, years ago, 2006. And, and I've been, I already started writing it back in 89, back in 90, 89, 90, 91, and 93. And, and I ain't really dealt with me to write it because I'm a firm believer in taking notes. I will read the scriptures word on word, verse on verse, and study history. You should know something. It's every man God called. If you call to pastor or preach, you got to know something. And you have to have a story of your life, comply to your life, so you can have a story. So that way people's lives can be changed. But you can't go in there for the wrong reason. Because there's a place in, in, in Lake of Fire that has your name on it if you do. You're supposed to, and, and you got to definitely treat your wife with respect. But, uh, and to the congregation, yes, treat your pastor with respect. Yes, honor them, but don't fall into snares of greed.